Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Wednesday. I am back actually, I almost said back actually, I am actually back to saying what day it is because I think I'm really proud of myself. I have been putting up, making time, not necessarily finding time, but making time to um, put my blog up because I want to preach what I'm talking to you guys about. I'm talking to you guys about how, um, you know, those two inner mantras that I have or two inner whatever you want to call it, mantras, sayings, things that you um, use to help yourself have a different attitude about things. And one of, you know, they're contradictory, but they work for me together in that I either have to tell myself it's not that big of a deal for something that I'm making, you know, this huge deal in my head so I don't do it, like working out or some big work project. I have to remind myself most of the things that I think are this huge deal, like, oh, I'm never going to have time to do that. Oh, there's no way it's really not that big of a deal. And then the things that we tend to not give enough um, attention to or prominence to or importance to, it is that big of a deal. So if you only work out for 10 minutes that day and you're like, this is not gonna make any difference, there's no way. Yes, it does, because it all adds up. So that said, one of the things that I've obviously, um, those of you guys that, that read my blog, kellyalexa.com, You've seen a lot of inconsistency there because I would go on trips and I'd say, oh, I'm going to blog when I'm there. And then that's what I would do. I, I was still doing that. Oh, you know, the way that I blog is different from other people. Some people will schedule their posts out. They, they pick topics and they're very organized. I am not that way. When I write my blog, kind of like when I shoot my videos, I put the camera up. I just start talking, whatever's on my mind. And for some reason, you guys seem to like this with my blog. That day that I sit down to write it, I sit down to write it. I have not thought about it from the Thursday before. It's what's on my mind at that moment. God, I love this music. That was from um, Gladiator soundtrack. I have my yoga playlist on in the background. But anyway, if you've been um, watching my uh, blog lately, today's date is, I had to look on my phone. I can't believe it's March already. So it's March 13th, um, and I've finally been catching up on my, whew, until I just worked out. There's a rat's nest back there. Um, bird's nest, rat's nest, whatever. Um, I've been uh, blogging the past uh, week, not every single day, but at least every other day. And that's helped me to really get back in the groove there and realize, you know, again, it's not that big of a deal. I can squeeze in my blog posts because that's what I was doing in the past. Again, you guys, you don't learn all of your lessons and then realize like, oh, I'm perfect. I don't have anything to make better. We can always get better. We can always relearn lessons. Um, I mean, I have to reteach myself the same lessons a lot. So um, catching up with my blog posts. Oh, I have to keep this here because several of you had asked questions about my oatmeal. Um, first thing, cheers to you. Speaking of mugs, which you guys know how obsessed I am with mugs that are of a good size, close to the size of my face, but also kind of have meaning. <laughs> I like Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe is one of my favorite places ever. Plus this is a hand crafted or whatever. <laughs> I'm probably one of those people that it says, this is handmade. And then at the bottom, it's like made at Walmart <laughs> in Indianapolis or something. Hold on. It says handmade in the, hand crafted in the USA. Anyway, I just like it. It's one of a kind. Like me. I'm not getting paid to advertise Lake Tahoe either. Although, I would pretty much do about anything. If someone wanted to fly me out there regularly and give me a vacation, I'm just throwing that out there to the universe. But I'm going to shoot another vlog today when I'm not so sweaty and disgusting um, about some really exciting stuff, so stay tuned. The company I discovered when I was on vacation um, in Miami, and I am absolutely... I don't know, I'm really overly obsessed with them, but I think that everyone is going to love them. So you're going to stay tuned for that one. Anyway, let's try to focus, Kelly. Number one, a lot of you ask about my oatmeal. Obviously, as you can see, there's an empty bowl here. Exhibit A. Has anybody watched Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure? Okay, I'm old. Um, a couple of you had written and said, what's your recipe for oatmeal? I don't have a recipe, people. <laughs> I'm not that adventurous. Um, I, if I get my ideas for stuff, it's always from my um, Fit Flential Ambassadors, some of my favorites off the top of my head, only because I knew them first. I hate to say favorites because there's so many new ambassadors that come in, I just don't know them yet. So I'm sure there's some amazing people out there. But these are people that I knew early on when, when we brought these people on into the company. 
But I always get great, great ideas from Kristen, um, Stuffed Mama, S-T-U-F-T-M-A-M-A. -A. That's her blog. Um, Julie Goline, love that girl. Um, Julie Goline, that's her blog. Um, Janitha, her blog is meals and mealsandmoves.com, if I'm correct. Um, she has great, great recipes. Um, who else do I? Oh, uh, Power Cakes. Pfft. Power Cakes, I think her blog is powercakes.net. She's, she's really features most of her recipes on um, Instagram. So you should be following all these people on Instagram. You should be paying attention because Fit is going to have a lot of stuff going on. Look at me, I'm like licking the bowl. Anyway, all I do is I use the slow cook oats. I don't use the instant oats because I like the slow cook oats. They're the bigger flakes. Cook it for two minutes. I come out here after I finish my cardio. I throw my oatmeal in the, <laughs> the oven, in the microwave and while my coffee's brewing. And then I usually like jump around and run in place so I get in some extra sweat. I'm not lying. It's kind of fun. Um, then all I do is I take, you know what this bad boy is? I have two special containers now for my PB2. So I have chocolate PB2, which I'm obsessed with, and regular PB2, which I'm obsessed with. Now, I'm also not going to lie to you. I put like two, probably two little um, packets of Splenda in there to sweeten it up. And then here's the thing. I found that when you add PB2 to oatmeal, it, it tends to kind of soak up all the moisture. So as I'm stirring it together, all I do is put one one teaspoon, like one scoop like this. Now, for those of you that haven't had this madness, which is going to change your life, this is essentially, I hope I'm saying this right, dried peanuts, okay? And you add water to make it into peanut butter. But two tablespoons mixed with one tablespoon water, and you know, you can thin it down or whatever, because I make like a syrup on top of my protein pancakes. 45 calories, one gram of fat, six grams of carbs, one gram of fiber, four grams of protein. Delicioso. So I put one scoop, not two, so not even a serving, so it's probably 23 calories, um, onto my oatmeal. And then I stir it, I add water while I'm stirring it. Um, and then what I'll do is, when I finish shooting this, I'll probably make, um, for my protein, if I'm having this, I'll have uh, egg whites, just scrambled egg whites with hot sauce on it. Um, you know, it's not the most delicious thing in the world, but I like it, it's okay. And it's quick protein. I don't. Like this is kind of sweet, so I don't really want to have like a protein shake or anything. It's just my thing. I also haven't made my zucchini protein bread in a while. I'm gonna have to have my, ask Michael if that's allowed right now, because we've changed that psycho diet that he had me on for a week to um, a little bit more, um, a lot more flexibility and, and more vegetables. And I begged and pleaded with him to let let me extend my time when I have my carbs a little bit later in the day. That was a funny conversation. If you could have been around to for that. Anyway, so I told you about the oatmeal. I told you, oh, a lot of people too are asking about the coconut oil. Coconut oil, yes, I still put it in my coffee. I just, if you guys, so many of you guys are asking how much I put in my coffee. I don't measure it, but I will say this. Because I now, my new, my latest thing is I add maybe one tablespoon of heavy cream, okay? I use heavy whipping cream, got this at Walmart. And if you look at the, um, you know, one tablespoon is 50 calories, five grams of fat, zero carbs, zero protein. Okay, so it's more about with what I'm focusing on, keeping the carbs down. Um, but since I put this in, put a little less coconut oil in. In the beginning, when I was just doing coconut oil and cinnamon, I probably put a bigger scoop in. But this, this tends to be, like that's what I'll put in a cup like this. So as you can see, it's not a full... And I don't know if you can, you probably can't see it, but it gives it just enough, you know, people go, how much, a lot of people ask me how it makes the coffee taste. I can't really describe that to you. Look at me. I shouldn't do this before my shower, but I'm just going to do it for my hands um, because this is my next point. Um, a lot of people go, well, how does it make it taste? For me, it's not that it makes your coffee taste a, a strong cinnamon. It's just that if you're not using, you know, what I was trying to get away from, was you know all the fake creamers that really didn't even have anything remotely identifiable in it um you know the fat-free creamers the um what was it fat-free sugar-free all these different creamers you know and and plus with those creamers i got to the point where i was adding so much that a cup of coffee was getting to be like 150 200 calories it's like 
if what's the point here I'm adding 50 calories I don't really count the fats in my calories it's just not what I do so one tablespoon is 120 well I'm what would you say I'm adding I would say I'm adding half of one tablespoon maybe um, so I would guess that would be about 60 so maybe my my coffee is 100 calories I just I'm not when I'm counting my calories I'm not counting essential fats like that um, it's, it's working for me um, speaking of that I'm trying to stay on point today I'm already at 10 minutes do you hear my yoga music in the background um, I was very excited because I'm going to hot yoga tonight um, and they were selling at, uh, at the studio this new well, it's not new, but this is the um, incense that they use. Now, this is the incense that I buy. I don't know if you guys like incense, but I freaking love incense. I love how it smells, and it kind of just puts me in my yoga mood, which gets me zen. Which, really, I should listen to this music before bed. really been having issues getting to sleep at night. But I've been buying this and ordering it, you know, like a big sample pack um, from Amazon.com. And then when I was there, I saw that they were selling this. And I'm like, is this what you guys, you know, burn here at the studio? And they said, yes. So I really like it. I'm going to see. Well, I was going to ask her, the girl that orders it there. She's also my acupuncturist. If she can order this for me. But I'm also going to look it up online because that's how I roll. Um, I'm also, now that I'm back to doing, um, ugh, it's just messy here on the counter. Mr. Flow. Mr. Flow. Oh, a little sore. Um, I didn't work out yesterday because I was under the weather related to not getting any sleep for two nights. It was not pleasurable. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so I'm a little sore today. But I'm also really loving, I got these books a while ago, but especially now that I am back to, you know, my goal is to have three days a week of yoga in addition to my training. These books I love. And I think there's two more that I need to get. I have an Amazon wish list and my birthday's coming up. But all of these books are really cool because, you know, you can, they show the breakdown of the mus what, what muscles you're using, what joints you're using, what rotators you're using. It's pretty cool because pretty much every time you do a new yoga pose, or if you guys have been doing it for a while, you're using muscles that you don't use. Well, I don't want to say that you don't use normally. You're using them in different ways and you're just challenged. I'm always amazed at certain things that, you know, I can do really well and go really far back. And then there's other people where I can't, I can't even begin to get into the pose. And then the person next to me is like bent all the way back over, like eating their toes. And there's me like, but you can't obsess about that. And I don't obsess about it. I'm fine with it. Don't try to hurt yourself in yoga, in running, in CrossFit, in weightlifting, whatever you do, you compete with yourself. Michael and I were talking about this before. Um, I've made a lot of progress, you guys, but I have a lot of friends that lift a lot heavier than me, um, that run a lot faster than me. I'm not competing with them. I'm not in a race with them. I'm in a race to improve my body, to improve my conditioning, to improve my strength. And as long as I keep getting better and what I like in the mirror keeps getting better, which is what's happening, then I'm succeeding. If I'm using a weight for, I need to press this off. If I'm using a weight Hold on. Um, if, I, if I'm using a weight to do overhead presses, and usually what I do is I start heavy um, with 20 pounds, and then, um, you know, I'll go down and do some, um, I don't know if I'm saying this right, supersets, where I'll do, like, so a lot of you guys have been asking about uh, what I do for shoulders and, and how I work, triceps and all, all the other stuff. Um, I tend to do shoulders sometimes twice a week now, always has been my favorite part to work but obviously I'm also working on building up the delts and as I lose fat it's really nice it's really nice because I, I can see them pop sometimes I literally am catching myself in the mirror going is that what I'm doing but it's because I'm focused it's because I'm sticking with it okay and it took me a long time to get here you guys and that's why I'm excited to share my lessons with you but anyway when I do shoulders um, I usually start off you know kind of warming up my shoulders um, doing, using like a lightweight, like 7.5 pounds or 8 pounds, whatever they have at the gym, to just kind of, you know, move my shoulders in all the ways that I'm going to be moving, them, you know, up and forward a little bit. So you warm up, um, then I'll do, I'll usually sometimes, it, it changes every week. It depends if I'm training with Michael or if I'm training by myself. 
um, but I'll do 20 pounds for you know overhead press and usually I start to that gets to be too much so then I'm gonna work it you know bring it down to 17.5 there's other people that could come in there and do 30 pounds uh, Dayla Lynn Bailey who's like a badass she's like doing overhead press with like 60 pounds that's what works for her this is what works for me this is where I am I can't go in there and get hung up on the fact that you know this is what I'm doing and oh that person that girl just came in next to me and you know she's using this weight that doesn't mean that I'm wimping out trust me if I'm if I'm pushing and I'm using the right form and on my last reps I'm like you know there's all kinds of facial gestures that happen and grunting and groaning if that's what you're doing you're busting your ass and that's the only thing that matters you can't compare yourself to what other people do when you run I can't compare myself to Dutch Degay up in Boston. I run and for me, five miles an hour is kind of where I'm like catching my groove and I can keep running for a while, okay? I'm not somebody who runs marathons. I'm not somebody who runs half marathons. I run for joy. Dutch Degay gets on a treadmill, runs 10 or 11 miles an hour and he's like, my hair is out of place. I don't need to compete with him. He's been running for like 10 years. I've been running for probably a total if you add up all the days that I have run probably not even a year. So, that's it. These are the deep thoughts from Kelly. Run your own race. That's a t-shirt in the making. It probably already has been made. So, I talked about the oatmeal. I talked about the PB2. I talked to you about the incense. I can't tell you about this other company because I'd rather have, I need to go take a shower. I talked to you about the coconut oil. One thing about the coconut oil that I forgot to say, and this is, I'm gonna wrap it up. So use this in your coffee. Ladies, I, I don't see why the men can't use it. As you can see, it is amazing for your skin. Caveat, I no longer even remotely think about putting coconut oil on my face. Many people have had the same experience. It comes out solid. I just scooped out a little. I'm just showing you this. And this is, so you rub your hands together. See how it melts? It's this nice glisten, okay? Now I put it on my hands because I'm about to take a shower and all of this will come off. It's great for your elbows. It's great for your body, okay? Rub it on your entire body. For some reason, other people have written to me too. When you put it on your face, it makes your face peel. And, it, it, and just don't put it on your face. So I use Arbon. That's what skincare I use. Um, if you have questions on that, you can email me. I've been using it for six years. Um, I really don't use anything else. I firmly believe that that's why my skin looks great at almost age 44. Um, so I use Arbonne products on my face. Um, I use more of their like aromatherapy products um, on my skin. They have this one to die for. What's it called? Um, Aroma, Aroma Essentials. Uh, that's the text I'm getting. Aroma Essentials. Uh, I'll show it to you guys later. It's this uh, essential oils and sea salt. Sea salt scrub. It's absolutely amazing. Ladies, I'm just going to tell you, it's like 25 or 30 bucks for a big tub. If you use this, there is no way your man won't jump all over you afterwards. However, that said, don't put it, it does have sea salt. Don't learn the lesson that I did, which is putting it on your legs after you've just shaved your legs. Because you'll be like, you have to think about these things strategically. So, use the coconut oil, you can get it anywhere, you can get it at Trader Joe's, you can get it at Walmart, I believe you can get it at Target. Um, don't use it on your face. Everybody I know that's used it on their face is the same thing, that it makes their face peel. So, um, oh, I have an eyebrow appointment today. I have to go. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the nice notes. Also, uh, a lot of you guys have been asking about my mom. She's finished with six chemo treatments. She... <laughs> I will tell you, she did say to me, I mean, it's, it's been rough. The side effects from the chemo um, have been rough. Her stomach and just, you know, stomach problems and the side, side effects of stomach problems have been really rough on her. So um, thank you for your thoughts and your prayers. Um, she's through that part. She has her surgery later in April. Um, they did blood testing, so she does not have the gene that predicts future breast cancer, which I believe means that I don't have it either. But my mom's like, Kelly, you need to get mammograms and stuff. I'm like, oh, how about this? How about when I go in and get my boob job? They can just take all of these. Can't they just scoop it out like a melon? Scoop out all the boobs, the bad boobs. Take it out. To put two balloons on here that don't ever move. And that'll make me happy. It'll make, you know, my medical situation good, right? <laughs> I hate the idea of a mammogram, but I know that I'm not preaching a good health message. So 
I will get one and I will tell you guys and I will not vlog it for those of you that are going to ask. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>